Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to make a custom built-in bath using the Rose Citizens Clawfoot Bath. I hope you enjoy it, let's get into it. So first I used building blocks to centre the bath in the middle of the room. Then I placed a marble building block against the wall behind the bath, scaled it as the back block. Then I placed three other blocks against the back block so that they go around the bath like a square. Then I placed a wooden building block against the wall under the bath and I scaled it out and then I placed the next set of building blocks on top of this block. This means that the blocks can, inter can overlap without intersecting. Then I scaled the building block down a few studs, the wooden building block, so yet again I can place more blocks with them overlapping without them intersecting. Then I scaled the wooden building block down once more to fill these small gaps in the front. Then I removed that building block, the wooden one, and just scaled the marble blocks out to the side. Here I'm scaling these loose ends of the blocks that I used around the bath so they aren't sticking out. And then I am making a white building block, a plastic building block at the front, used as a wall at the front. And then I'm doing trim at the top and bottom and on both the sides. Then I scale everything in because I decide that I want to make custom walls either side of the bathtub. So I just scale all the main blocks in, make these walls, then scale it back against the And then I just fix the trim here on the tops and sides. And then here I'm using the wooden building blocks to centre that line um, right in the middle of the bathtub on the front there. And then I use building blocks again to centre it either side of that one so they're all equal distance apart. Then that is a metal building block used as a curtain railing. Then place this building block against the wall and this is making the curtain. So then you place the building blocks against each other to look like it's flowing down the bath when it reaches the bath. And then these smaller thinner building blocks are to look like the curtain wrinkles and you just place them against the main building blocks. And then you do that on the other side to create another curtain. Finally, I recolored the bath and added the wall trim and decoration, and here is the final result. I hope you all like it, and I hope you guys found the tutorial helpful to make this. Thanks for watching!